Hi all, my name is Der König and I'm from Canoe. Today I'd like to show you how you can do a lazy loading with the help of JavaFX and OpenDolphin. It is really the combination that makes it very easy um, to do a lazy loading as you may have seen before in uh, various other, other technologies. What we see here is an application that displays uh, quite some data. So in this table view, we have data that is uh, fetched from the server, and the whole table size is uh, 100,000 entries. The current value is zero, and at the moment the the really the number of really loaded items is 19, which is from zero to 18. So these values that you see here, they come from the server. I can select one and you see it displayed in, in a detail view, so it's a master detail view. And this is the current value that we see in this uh, LCD. Down below here we see the, uh, the percentage of items being loaded actually on the client side and that is um, 0.019%. So as long as we only, I, I use my, um, uh, sorry, um, I click around here and you see, we see the other value, we see the detail view being updated and this other view, which is also detail view uh, showing the actual value, but there is no additional value being fetched from the server. It stays as ni at 19 and it stays until we go one further down and use the down key to do this. And then we see number 19 and which means we need an additional one being fetched. We can also um, click on this here to, to see the whole next page, so to speak. So this is the next page from 19 to 37, and that means we need an additional uh, 19 more to be displayed. Still, it's not many. By the size of the slider, you can see that we are only uh, watching at a a very small window of the overall data. We can scroll down to the very end of the table, like so, and we are, and this is the very last one, uh, 99,999. And we can select the one and we see it in the detail view. And uh, by sliding down to the very end, there were more items being fetched from the server, but not too many. It's actually only 135 which means still as long as we, uh, as we stay in the data that's already loaded, uh, there's no additional data being fetched. <clears throat> the interesting point here about the lazy loading is that um, when we scroll over it, you will see like three dots indicating that this data is not yet loaded, but as soon as we, um, as it has enough time, they can materialize in that spot. So if you're very observant, you'll see uh, the three dots uh, when, I, when I go through it here. Da -da, three dots. But as soon as, I, um, as there was enough time to fetch the data, we have it here. Which is interesting because um, if you're, you know you have 100,000 entries and you know you search an entry in the middle, like around 50,000 or so, you can go to the middle and then go from here until you reach the oh, 46,000, maybe a little more, maybe a little more, uh -huh, around here. Hmm. That is somewhere around here. You can then select the one that you're actually interested in. Oh, like 50,000 from Nomila, this one. Still, as you see the, uh, the filling, the real load that we have is still almost nothing. It's 1.5%. Even if we do the worst that you can possibly do, which is like scanning through all the entries, uh, we could start in the beginning and then very slowly go down and down and down and down and down and down and let it fetch almost everything, right? So we go down very slowly. This would be the worst case that nobody is really doing in your application. That means that uh, really the most data that you can possibly think of needs to be loaded 
But still, still, even if we do this very slowly and we look at very, um, really a lot of data that is in the table, when we reach the very bottom, you see it's not even 10% being loaded, and it's 7%. And still, we can go here. And even if we, I now take my, my up arrow key, and this is also, even if I'm, I'm now clicking it um, as fast as, as I possibly can, for showing that one, which means this will also be updated, the detail views have to be updated. Hmm. This is still as fast as you can, uh, as you would imagine. It looks as if all the data would be available on the client side, whereas, it's important to say, this is not the case. The data is not on the client side. Only this much of the data, only 7% of the data is on the client side. The real big amount of data is on the server side. Um, because <clears throat> it makes no sense sending data to the client if the uh, if nobody's looking at it and as soon as you look at it 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 comes to you that's the idea of lazy loading now lazy loading uh, requires two things one is you need to you need to know when the data is needed and second you would like to cache the data that you already had right for uh, for hooking into the event when the data is needed uh, it's it's mm, their Java FX is in a very good position to do that. For caching the data that you need and have transparent access to the data, um, whether it's available on the client side or not, this is where OpenDolphin comes into play. Because Open, OpenDolphin happens um, handles this automatically in the so-called client model store. This is all presentation models that reside in the in the table. And what we see here is the um, binding against the presentation model. So how does it look like in code? What's the, the gist of the code here? And, um, and that's this from here to here is all it takes in the code. The, the ID column in our table view has a so-called cell value factory. That's something from uh, JavaFX. The cell value factory has to return an observable value and uh, we are actually returning a placeholder. The placeholder starts with being a simple string property with three dots. That's what we see when the data is not, late, not yet loaded. And we simply return that placeholder from the cell value factory. Meanwhile, after it has been displayed, um, we may change the value of that placeholder. Well, this is here. And when do we change it? We request the client model store, where all the presentation models live, to, um, with the presentation model of that ID, and the ID comes from the row value that is uh, in the table, to, with this presentation model that it gives us back, and we get it here, please set the value to what the presentation model has as a detail value. The interesting thing here is that um, the this presentation model in OpenDolphin works such that if the presentation model is already available on the client side, this piece, this line of code is immediately called. Otherwise, um, the server is asked, please, please, please give me all the data for that presentation model and please fill it and please notify me when it is filled and then execute this piece of code. So it fills asynchronous, asynchronously uh, and lazily. That's all it takes, nothing else to make the um, to make lazy loading run with JavaFX and OpenDolphin. The example that we have seen, the lazy loading demo, is a standard demo that comes with OpenDolphin um, you can start it right away from the command line when you have checked out OpenDolphin. Thanks a lot for watching and have fun with JavaFX and OpenDolphin.